All right, day two at the uh, Amish auction in Charlotte. We're out here again. I got my buddy Cody out there. Eh? He didn't want to be in the video, but now he's in the video. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, we're here again. Uh, there's a lot of antiques today. Today's more antiques and primitive farm equipment and whatnot. So we're again going to be here most of the day. It's actually a little nicer today, but I do have my boots on, so that my my feet will be a little better. And uh, yeah, like I said, it should be a lot of fun. So we're gonna go through and show you guys what's here at this auction today, or at this part of the auction today, and then um, on to hopefully getting a nice a nice lot of stuff again. So all right, we'll see you out there, guys, and uh, let's have some fun. All right, here's usually all the primitive farm equipment, the big old Crocs. I mean, those are huge. If there's no cracks in them, we'll definitely be going for them. Again, should have not worn my tennis shoes today because it is. How you guys doing? Not bad. Oh. Those farm scales, I do not touch. We've had no luck with those. We never can sell them. And they end up going to the scrapyard. So I'll tell you right now, you'll never find me touching one of them. There's a lot here. They'll sell for five, 10 bucks for one of them. And we are never able to sell them. Cans there. More wheels, always lots of wheels here. But the farm, old farm machinery, I love. Like this right here. I it's a corn sheller. But again, don't quote me on that. I am not, not always super knowledgeable on the farm equipment, but I do know a little bit about a little bit. See all the wheels, wheels are always so many of them. Ooh, that's some nice. Some metal, uh, uh, gosh, no, I can't think of the word off the top of my head, but look at these, uh, oilers here. I really sell these all the time, these are good sellers, too. Guardrail, maybe that's what I was thinking of. Yeah, maybe that's it. Oil, oil pump. It is going to be a cold and rainy day today. Look at this cauldron, those are nice. <clears throat> but it is cracked. So we will definitely not be going up there. Usually if I see something wrong with it, you better believe somebody else will. So oh, nice water pumps. Also be something we'll be going after today. Another wash tub over there on the ground flipped upside down. So yeah. Lots of nice stuff. I mean this is just I told you this is Christmas morning for me. I love I had a hard time sleeping last night. So I love these auctions. These are the best. TV. Nice set back covered.
Nice crock. Yeah, people like freaking out. I'm like, yeah, kind of. Horse o'clock, we sell those good. Budweiser Steins, very collectible. Tonka trucks. I could go on and on because a lot of the stuff in here is very collectible. Old Myers truck. You can go in front of me if you want to. I try to go somewhat slow. <clears throat> some carnival glass, some signage, trash cans. <laughs> Dolls, always have a hard time with dolls, so you usually don't buy them. Insulators. Nice Crocs. Life magazines we sell here and there. Ooh, doll furniture. Always sell doll furniture. Nice Croc. Looks like it might have a little crack in it, though. Records, like I told you guys before, always do really well with records. I'll have to go through those today. Old vintage Christmas stuff, so he's a good seller. More insulators, some crates. Pulleys. Globe. Yeah, they bring up stuff from the table. They don't just walk around. No, no, no. Bring stuff up the table. Nice butter churn over here. Right there. Coffee grinders. Old General Lee. Nice pedal fire tractor. Bunch of milk bottles. Got a few collectors of those in the shop. Kind of nice. Old Hot Wheels. Matchbox cars. <coughs> Instruments. Really cool old clocks. You don't see those ever. Nice Halloween. Old movie lamp. Nice old mantle clocks. Like I said, there's just so much stuff we're going to be going after today. Hopefully, be able to get some of it. Enamel whale. Enamel. <laughs> Enamel wear. Always popular. Looking at a ton of cast iron. Griswold Wagner. Always very popular. I like my iron. <laughs> my wife was a telephone operator, so we got married, so where the telephone is. Donald Duck, cookie bar, cookies. 
jar and more Crocs. <laughs> a few of these. License plates we'll go after because we always fill the shop with license plates. More enamelware. And some good signage over here. of their auction here. It's a Model T kids car. Alright, day two is all done. Um, as you can see, we got a lot of good items. Uh, first off, got the Bush beer clock. Super old. It's got to be cleaned up a little bit. That'll be going in the shop. Then we got the uh, sweet advertising clock from the new home sewing machine clock. It's Again, a little beat up, but I got a really good deal on it. It's something that's uh, you don't see too much of anymore. They're highly collectible. Um, so yeah, we're pretty excited about that one too. Um, and then the two biggest items we got today, we got the uh, butter churn barrel, as you'll see. They just hit them in. They turn that on, mix them up. Like I said, it's uh, it's awesome. One of my favorite pieces, one of something pretty unique. We've never had one of these in the shop before, so it's actually going to be really cool. And then the creme de la creme, we got an amazing deal on this guy. Old Hoosier cabinet. It needs a little bit of work to it, as you can see. Me and Amber are not painted furniture people. Uh, we know it's super popular, but we are <laughs> that's just not our thing. So we are going to put a nice little project into this. We're going to strip it and uh, refinish it. And uh, we're going to have a video with that, too, so that's going to be really nice. But this thing is... Uh, this thing was the find of the day. It was a really nice piece that was uh, got for a really good price. So that is it. That wraps up the Amish auction. Um, we were just lucky enough to get so many good items. I mean, it was awesome. We were happy. Day two, we got a lot, a lot of good stuff. I was happy with day two. So um, like always, guys, if you guys give this video a thumbs up and then uh, hit that subscribe button, of course, and then uh, comment below. What do you guys think? You guys a big fan of painted furniture or you guys want to see it refinished? What do you, what do you guys want to see? So it's going to get refinished, but what do you guys like the most? <laughs> um, and like I said, like always, guys, get your antique fix on M66. See you later.